Hi folks, it's Max from GalaxyNote2Root.com So, you've just rooted your phone and uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do uh, before you start installing custom ROMs, whatever go ahead and download Titanium Backup app, alright? This is the app right here and uh, I'm going to show you how to backup and restore your apps uh, for example, when you install new custom ROMs most likely you'll have to do this thing called factory reset which will erase all your settings all your apps you know contacts um, you can use titanium backup app to back up your apps which will your back up your apps and uh, the data let's say you're playing angry birds and you're on level 31 it'll back that you know up too so when you go to a new rom you can simply restore all your apps and uh, not lose your data so go ahead and download it i recommend the pro version I uh, highly recommend it. Don't worry about this warnings, warning messages. Um, and uh, here's the thing about it. I highly recommend you to um, actually no, not that button. I highly recommend you to actually uh, hit the menu button and then go to preferences. And uh, you can back all these up, I guess. But I don't actually recommend restoring the system apps because that can mess up. Um, so go ahead you can leave it on if you want but I like to check off system apps because it just takes longer and I don't you know I don't want to back up system apps usually yeah. you can leave it on if you want um, to back it up you can also set schedule so it'll run you know every other day if you're paranoid but I just like to just go here this to the schedule and do backup new user system apps and newer versions and also you can also redo backups after you do this um, the next time around so go ahead and run that and this will run in the background and uh, that will basically back up all your, your apps and you can see it's backing up and 2.2 two benchmark chat on see that's like a system app it's backing up um, I would usually uncheck it but you know perhaps you have you want to save some of the uh, app data and stuff then you know leave it on and also for restoration restoration restoring I highly recommend you to get the pro version. Um, do titanium backup search, and I actually have the pro version. Um, this is just uh, I already bought it. It's like five bucks. Highly worth it because when you restore, you can do it in one click. It will do it automatically in the background. Whereas the free version, you have to oh you know manually click yes for each app. If you have a lot of apps, like more than you know twenty. And definitely recommend it. Also, if you're installing a bunch of custom ROMs, so this will back up your your uh, your apps. And let me show you where this gets stored. Uh, if you go to My Files and uh, All Files here, and it's most the SD card zero is probably your internal, and there should be a new folder called Titanium Backup App. Yeah, there we go. So it gets all stored here. And uh, if you don't want to store all of this, you know, if you want to move it to another phone or even another Android device, you can copy this whole folder to another place or even put it on your hard disk if you don't want to leave it in your, you know, SD card. Um, this is also a great way for you to move your apps uh, without losing all your, you know, Angry Birds 30, 31 level, level 31, whatever, and uh, do that. So you should be able to see that it's backing up. Um, and I'll show you how to restore also. And uh, I've just installed the back, uh, the pro, the the pro version. You still need to download the regular version. The pro version actually just gives you a pro key, so you on you can unlock the pro features in the Titanium Backup app. So this is the best way to back up apps. There's other apps too, but I just find it um, great to use this. And also with the Titanium Backup app. It's not just backup and restoring apps. If you go to backup and restore here, you'll be able to see all of your apps here. And let's say you want to remove uh, some of your bloatware. Uh, let's say I hate chat on or something. Then go ahead and find chat on. And you can click on it. And you can freeze it uh, or you can uninstall it. If you have the pro version, you can freeze it. That way, you know, if for some reason it breaks your uh, phone, then you can unfreeze it. Uh, same thing as uninstalling, but this will kind of back up the uh, thing or if you're using the free version and you don't want to pay for the free version uh, what you can do is back it up first and then uh, uninstall it then you'll have a backup and you can you know that's a work way around but I highly recommend getting the pro version and you can also uninstall a bunch of you know system apps but use the freeze feature like I told you or back it up and then delete it 
um, that some because some some of these system apps, if you delete it, it can break your phone. Um, just an advice. So it's almost done here, and then we're gonna restore it. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. And when you're restoring, here's the thing: when you after this is like after you install a new ROM, um, basically go to settings and uh, under developer options, make sure developer options is uh, checked on and also USB debugging is checked on. When you restore, if you don't do this, you'll have a bunch of problems. And also another note you can do is um, go to also security and also make sure make sure unknown sources is checked on. Um, this will make sure you get the apps restored properly. And it's almost done backing up. Um, I'm not going to actually install another ROM. I'm just going to show you how to. Oh, you know what? Let's go actually install another ROM. So let me go install this new ROM my friend made. Um, you know, if, uh, and I'll, I'll be back after you know installing the new ROM. And also for contacts, do use Gmail because if you use Gmail, um, all your contacts are going to be synced to your Gmail. All right. If you don't use Gmail, just make a dummy account just for the contacts, and you put your contacts on Gmail because that makes it simpler because when you sign in after you install a new ROM it will load everything and also for SMS text messages there's a bunch of apps you can get just type SMS text backup uh, on Play Store you know what? I let's do that real quick <laughs> SMS uh, backup just type that and there's a bunch of apps you can use there's even ones that will save it to your Gmail which is kinda cool but you can use SMS backup and restore this one I used before Works just fine, and this will use um, this will back up your SMS text uh, text. And also, there's another feature you can use, which I don't really like to use because it puts all my stuff on cloud. You can go to settings, backup, reset. It will back up all your Wi-Fi passwords, um, you know, app data to the Google servers. You can use that. I just feel I don't feel secure that way. Uh, I'm kind of old-fashioned, even though I have a bunch of new gadgets. Anyway, I'll be back. Um, you know, oh, let me run SMS text backup. I don't think I have any, but let me see backup. Okay, this will back it up. All right, and there's zero. Okay, I can't show you that, but just go ahead and back up, and you can install this ROM or this app after you uh, install a new ROM and restore. So I think I covered all the bases. Let me go install a new ROM, and then. Um, and then let me show you how I, I um, you know, restore everything. All right. All right, folks. So I did install a new ROM, Sp Space X ROM here. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-download my Titanium backup. Um, now for all of your, you know, launcher stuff, you might want to use. Um, you might, you might be able to restore it. I haven't tried that one. That that might be a system. That might be part of system apps. Um, so go ahead and go to Titanium backup app and make sure you grant and like I told you before um, make sure under settings developer options USB debugging is checked on and also uh, under security make sure unknown sources is checked on alright and also I'm gonna download uh, my pro version that way you know this is the back the restore process is automated and I highly recommend it here we go All right, yeesh, here we go. Let me open this again. All right, and uh, there we go. Now you can hit this button here, and it will show you all those different scenarios uh, for restoring all of your apps. So go to restore, and the one I usually use is uh, restore, restore missing apps with data. This will restore all my. Um, you know apps but we'll try both let me do this first uh, restore missing apps you can also choose which ones to um, restore and hit the check button and this will restore all my 17 apps and if you're using the free version every time you know every every app you have to kind of you know say yes which is very annoying so that's why I got the the uh, pro version and uh, we're, we'll try one more thing since SpaceX ROM that I installed is very similar to stock um, it's pretty much near stock a lot of the custom ROMs right now you can try restoring a system but um, if you try it on a ROM that's completely different like CM10 that comes out later 
it might break your you know whole ROM and you might have to reinstall the ROM um, but we'll try it here we go I'll be back oh and I did forget to point out that you do you can use uh, Samsung keys also to ba uh, back up and restore apps but I like this option because a lot some of the custom ROMs they don't support keys um, so that's done and you should find all of your apps now back um, let me see one example is like uh, something that I have to log in uh, let's go to Facebook so I've got my Facebook back here and uh, my it it uh, e even saved my backup login information login information uh, and my Google Voice all of these apps so I don't have to re-sign in my Twitter and uh, let me do one more thing we're gonna try to restore all of the you know where the apps were now um, if you I don't really recommend this but um, if you're coming from going from a custom ROM to a similar ROM such as SpaceX then you might be able to do it so I'm gonna go back to this button here and I'm gonna try to restore all system data all right and go ahead and I'm gonna try there's a lot of stuff here and this will restore all of your um, you know Wi-Fi settings and stuff like that too and also you can select one by one so if you have problems just only select the ones you need um, that way you know you won't get some kind of error but uh, I'm assuming it won't get any error because SpaceX is very right now is very similar to the stock ROM a lot of the custom ROMs are that's that's the way it is in the beginning but later on they'll get so I, I did get a forced error there hopefully that doesn't persist um, but let's see if I can get all my stuff back you know all the other stuff too a reboot is recommended so let me go ahead and reboot alright so I think I actually got a lot of it back here let me reboot and I'll be back so I got my phone rebooted and uh, I think I don't remember if this I, I think this is actually it didn't restore my launcher it looks different but I don't recommend uh, restoring your your system data. Um, just restore your apps. I just wanted to show you that as I mean, you can do it. You can try it. I don't have any problems, so it works just fine. But you know, a lot of the custom ROMs you'll have problems if you restore system data. Anyway, thanks you guys. That was how to back up and restore your apps, and also you know you can use uh, SMS you know backup app to back up your and restore your apps, which I I didn't show you, but pretty simple as. Uh, downloading and backing up and you know restoring anyway thanks you guys um, if you have a Galaxy Note 2 as always don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote2root.com we update you once a week with uh, ROM of the Week tips hacks more and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone and if you're on YouTube please hit that like button for me here subscribe button up there and uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and stay high on Android let me go play with my new ROM. All right, later.